All right, I get to paint with my mom today. My mom is a amazing, unbelievable artist. Uh, oh, thanks, Jake. <laughs> so we've got to travel the world doing this. It's been pretty fun. We've got to go to Basel. My mom has never done resin. I'm actually scared, a little scared. One of the things I love doing for my mom for Christmas is always getting her something new to practice and try. And being that she's never done resin and I just started getting into resin, this Marcy, mixed media girl. And I thought we would actually just do it rather than just buying her resin and it just sits on the shelf. <laughs> I'm gonna prime the boards while my mom gets parchment paper. Prime these boards a certain color and I'm also gonna do some coasters so I have them. These right here, Mom, are called mica powders. Mica powders. So they're literally just little powders that uh, you put in the resin and it colors the resin. I am not the expert when it comes to any of this stuff. I I, I, I'm made learning. The expert She's like, oh yeah, can you do this? I'm like, uh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> but um, basically, you put something in the resin to color it. Typically, I would prime either in a uh, yellow ochre or I would prime in a gray. That's what I usually prime canvases. Well, you can do the same thing on this, or you can do something fun, and then we can, you know, you have crazy gold glitter like this that you can put on it. Priming with my spray uh, paint? Yeah. Uh, well, I can prime it. Well, I want to prime them. Okay, great. So, we'll pick a color. She, you prime your own. I'm priming mine. Okay, what color should we prime them? I Gina, what are you doing? Are you wanting to prime boards with us? She, he, she's priming. <laughs> I'm going to look for parchment paper. I think I'm going to prime in in yellow. Okay. You're going to do this nice, cool yellow here. And we're using fancy Montana Golds. <sighs> Such great paint. I think I'm going to go blue. That'll be fun. So I'm going to do the coasters in blue, and then I'm going to do my board, though, in black. So resin, you have two parts. You have A and B. What you do is you go even parts on A and B. But you do the B first. Why? It's just what I was told. I don't know why you do anything. Perfect. So then we get the fun job of mixing this for forming. So what we're gonna do is pour the different colors we want into here. Okay, how many colors do you typically use? Like this. Mm -hmm. If we have extra resin, mm -hmm. Jake, I would like to resonate. Mm -hmm. So now this is where the fun all happens. That's what we're gonna do. So we're just gonna move this around just to help kind of cover it. That's kind of like a base coat. Now we should actually show 
show you guys what we made because I realized that at that angle you don't really get to see any of it. Here's that second set of coasters I did. There's mom's art that she just did with spray paint and then we did a coat of resin on top of it. Here's the first set of coasters I did and then we have the first two pieces that we did. There's mine, there's mom's. How was it? I'm not scared anymore. It was great. I love it. I'm so interested to see how these things dry and the texture of it. I've been watching these videos forever, every day, seeing you do this. I was like, I wonder how he does that. Marcy will tell you, like, I was scared to death to do this. is the first time doing resin by myself without Marcy. Well, see, there you exactly. go. Exactly. I was, I was scared to death to, to do resin. Marcy, you'd be proud of me. This is the first time doing resin without you. Yeah. But I think they turned out really well. I'm excited. Me too. So you'll see the final products in the next day or so when I come back over to, to the house. So mom, what other projects do we have to tackle next? What other mediums do we need to tackle next? You did spray paint and we did resin. What did you give me? You got me those oil things. Oh yeah, you have oil. We have oil watercoloring things next. I think you do that, you can you put that oil in the resin. Ooh. So we can try that next.